I think the first step in the home buying process is to ask around and find a good realtor. And as soon as you do that, um, you're halfway there. A good realtor is going to say, why do you want to buy a home? How long are you intending to live in this home? Do you intend to move anytime soon out of the area? Uh, you know, what are your financial situations like if you're a couple or if you're single? Uh, but the most important thing to do is to talk to an expert. That's a really loaded question because if you have cash and you know the house you want to buy and it's vacant, you can be in a house in seven days. The average transaction is typically about 30 days from the time you identify a house, put the offer in and close on it. Uh, it could take a lot longer than that if it's a seller's market and there are lots of buyers out there and you continue to shop and you just can't find what you're looking for, it could take you upwards of a year to finally get settled in a place. But you know, the short answer is about 30 days. Okay, so the difference between a seller's market and a buyer's market is uh, supply and demand. In the seller's market is there are a lot more buyers out there than there are sellers. In a buyer's market is there are a lot more sellers out there than there are buyers. Down payment in a home purchase is the same thing as down payment in a car purchase or what have you. Uh, the question is, you know, how much do I have to put down? You can put down as little as 3% on a home, um, but typically to get the best rate, you'd want to put down 20%. Uh, the other reason you'd want to put down more too is if you're competing for a house and there's two or three offers on it and you're the one putting 3% down and you're making an identical offer to someone putting 20% down, typically that buyer looks stronger on paper and so it does help you when it comes time to try to be the one who buys the house. But you know, you can be in for very, very low percentage and that's uh, has opened up the doors for home ownership for a lot of people in this country. Earnest money is uh, nothing more than a good faith gesture or a goodwill gesture uh, to a seller if you're a buyer saying, hey, I really want to buy your house and I'm just going to put some money up right now that shows you that I'm serious about wanting to buy your house. That earnest money is protected until certain benchmarks are hit, but while you're doing your inspections and that kind of stuff when you purchase a home, it's protected. It's typically 1% in the state of Georgia. It's not required in a transaction. I've never done an arm's length transaction without earnest money 